Hello, I think I'm back now. I'm hoping, can you see me? Oh, see my hand here. I'm just live. I believe you just need to find me. So um, if you are watching, hopefully you will have seen this new live pop up. Let's have a quick look. Let's just wait for some people to come in and find us. Come in and say hi. Hi Sheena, you found me. If you could spread the word perhaps on Facebook. Um, hopefully everyone will be able to find us again. I'm just going into all of the options. Just making sure we have everything running again and allowing people to find us. Hi Helen, hi Alison, hi Vicky, you all found us again. <laughs> I'm just going to put the uh, signatures together after I've done this embossing but I just need to double check that we're all live again. I absolutely no, have no idea what uh, happened there. Um, you can probably hear me clicking. Right, we have some people back. Oh good, you've all found me again. Okay, what I'll probably end up doing is I will get part one and part two of today, stitch them together and then repost them later on. So let's pop this through. We were just getting this ready. I've got my vellum in there. I'm going to run that through the machine. It's a bit dark now. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've all found me again. got all your chat in one place as well here we go yes we're back hi Lynn oh I had some leftover bits there but that's absolutely fine because it has added to the effect there and I'll probably go in again with a bit more ink as well so that's going to make a nice signature so I can pop pull these out at another time as we're decorating it so uh, what I'll be doing after this is going through some of my photos and going through all of like the key memories throughout. So uh, where was I? We've got all of our bits of paper here. We've got a nice big stack now. Let me just double check we're all here and okay. I'm all paranoid now. Yep, I think we are all good. But yes, I will stitch everything together and get everything back. Right, I just need to double check that we have everything. I want to do some effects now on this tea paper and maybe even some of the uh, patterned and lined paper. Let's do this first. So I have here the, um, this is new, it's from the disc bound collection. We have these stamps here. Now I didn't actually have this. Uh, stamp set for the, the launch of the collection so I'd like to have a little bit of a play with it so we do have the lined paper here that we have on the full pages but I just want to do a little bit of distress stamping and make it patchy so we'll start off with the grid first and I'm going to be using some walnut stain And I'm not even going to be putting it on a stamping block or a platform or anything. I'm literally just going to just patchy, patchy, patchy. And then I'm just going to pop that down. There we go. Do the same again somewhere else. And I can do the same with the lined one as well. There we go. So I'll probably do the same on the other side. There we go. I don't mind that it's gone all patchy. That is the look I was going for because I know that the paper is a bit wonky as well because it doesn't really dry perfectly straight. Oh, 
there we go that is that one and now we have the dotted line I will probably try that on a fresh piece oh gosh everything's sticking together now now this does have an open line at the bottom I don't know whether you'll be able to see it there but we have a border that goes all the way around and then an open end at the bottom so you can actually turn this over and then stamp it to make something that is going to fit I think it's A5 so let's move over to this one now again I just want willy nilly that's the word of the day for this there we go this is just to give us some background detail and a base for us to add our next bits because I'll be adding and sticking things on top of here there'll be photographs and images and words and things that I'll be um, adding so I'll pop this next one on a bit wonky again if you have any stamps like this this is what you can do just to build up your backgrounds so I'm doing very simple backgrounds today because I'll be adding like I said before as we complete the book and decorate the pages so this is basically just our base layer and then I have loads of other bits and bobs to choose from as well um, I did pull some bits and bobs out so let's go through those we have the A5 journaling stamp set and the a another a5 journal stamp set as well we have the bees i love this one the bee journal it comes with the outline dies as well i made some lovely um traveler's notebook layouts with that one and then we have the boho days or the bohemian days stamp set i love this one as well so again i'll be reaching for those as we decorate so i'm just going to grab my glass mat out next i want to do some spraying Time to make a bit of a mess. Got my glass mat out there. Oh, we'll see you later, Vicky. Okay, so let's have some fun with some spray. And some doilies so I have here just a pack of little doilies these from Dovecraft I've literally just gone into my stash now the thing with these doilies is they're always stuck together and you always have more than what you think you have stuck together so let's just pop this little guy there I've got dis distress oxide spray that's gonna need a mix I do have some other bits and bobs in my stash as well I have these eyes ink dye sprays as well this one's yellow keep it a good distance away and then I can reuse the doily as well but as you can see I have a nice effect there and I don't mind if any of this picks up on the other side as I move things around and I've also got my heat tool out as well so I can dry things off because I know this doily is going to take a little bit of time there to dry so I'm just going to move this aside to dry I'm just going to get my heat tool out sorry if this might be a bit noisy I might have to dab it I will probably end up dabbing that so let's grab some tissue now these doilies do have a little bit of a coating on hence why this is just soaked in really nicely and why it's just stayed on the surface for that doily so I'm going to set this somewhere aside to dry let's tidy up I 
Now some people have actual little boxes like cardboard boxes where they use it for spraying. I might have to make one of those myself. It's like a pizza box or something that's a nice little safe area there to spray. And then I've got a microfiber cloth somewhere. Let's grab that out. The joys of tidying up when you make a mess, huh? Okay, so now I'm ready to start pot popping our signatures together. That's more or less dried. I'm just going to give that a quick blast. Just trying to protect the microphone there a little bit. Just checking everything's all still okay. You've all found me again. Don't you just hate that when just, yeah, you lose it. But yes, I will do a replay. Okay, let's start assembling our bits. I'm gonna keep these plain because we can play with those. So let's start with our first signature. Let's start with this one. Pop this one on there. Again, I'm going to do some distress inks with, I have here, I love these new brushes. I'll be going around the edges with that, so the video is going to be very long if I do every page individually. So we also have, oh, let's add the vellum as well. But I have a notebook actually. So I have some A5 notebooks that I would like to tear apart. Here we go. I have some old notebooks here. This one has squares. This is actually stitched in the center. So I am literally just going to tear these out and fold those in half. Now this one should literally just come out. There we go. And then I can do the same with this one. So this one is dotty. I don't think I will ever use these notepads. So I'm literally just going to be using them as a tear out resource. There we go. <clears throat> so now I can just fold those and then we're gonna have different layers and sizes of things. So let's choose something now from Daphne's diary. Let's choose a piece of paper from here. We're going to do this one because we did do quite a lot of gardening. In the first year because we had it was a really hot early summer. So I do remember it being very hot. There we go. Did I manage to get this one included? I did. I think I might go for this one as well, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll go for something different. This is where I got it from, actually. Unique Magazines. Go there, uniquemagazines.co.uk forward slash Daphne's diary and uh, basically I think it's um, the Netherlands that they're based in but um, if you're in the US or Canada expressmag.com so they're kind of like the middleman and they can get this to you because it's quite pricey actually getting this shipped in from from the Netherlands to the UK so this is kind of like a a go between. Okay, we've got some chicken bits here, so let's go with this one. I need to get my big Stanley knife out next time for this. 
and do not be worried or precious too much about this because some people just put these in the recycling but this magazine was actually designed for you to get creative with so I'm going to fold this in half now this is also A5 as well and again I'm not going to be popping in any um, whatchamacallits staples or sewing so let's pop this one in I'm going to turn this one inside out so we have some interest there okay and let's uh, take one of these I'll have to go back for more I think I'm not even going to worry about trimming off anything either I'm more or less happy there with everything as it is although I'm just checking the height I might have to trim that down for the Daphne's diary that's poking out the top so let's just trim that down because I don't think that will fit through our strings but I don't mind that it's sticking out here okay let's pop that inside so I'm going to go all the way back to the middle again and then slide that in and now I'm able to pull out bits and bobs for decorating so look at all this interest already this is going to be absolutely great for adding photos and journaling to and also cutting out images from the actual magazine as well even the Alice in Wonderland ephemera will work well in here as well because it's going to be a huge mixture of things so that's our first signature done so I'm just trying to keep an eye on all the comments again okay so let's do our next one now let's start off with the tea paper one of these again you can add add to it as well as you're decorating you could think right I just need just one little extra thing and I do have those glassine bags as well so I will show you what I'm going to do with those as well let's pop this one in I've got a lot of filling to do bit of a wriggle oh I know what's happened it's ripped here that's fine we can fix that with a bit of washi tape there we go that's where the struggle was that slides on nicely now let's pop you in here there we go now let's do another Daphne's uh, diary again did I, oh gosh did I put this on too There we go. Gosh, my strings are being naughty today. There we go. That is our second signature done. It's coming together really nicely now. I love this. And then we'll do our last one. So I did say I was going to show you what I was going to do with the glassine bags um, wherever I've put them. Let's have a look. Where did I put them? Here they are. Right, so I have here some glassine bags and they do have some self-adhesive strips on them. 
so I am actually going to glue these together so let's take this one I'm going to be lining up those fold lines fold that in half this will stick out so I will trim it but that will give us an extra pocket as well so we can slide things inside here so I just need to add a bit of glue just to this extra tab just here and then I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer I will have to put this lid on there because it does drip out the side if I leave it on its side and I'm going to trim this down just to a little bit shorter than A5 so five and three quarters now I got these glassine bags from Amazon and then just to make it easier to use this as a pocket I'm just going to use my one inch punch and make a thumb hole there okay there is our glassine bag insert right so let's pop that aside let's start again with our patterned papers then i'm just going to trim this off slightly because i know that it didn't like to fit it's a little bit bigger than a5 so i'm just going to do it as straight as i can there we go i'm going to fold this in half and then I'm going to fold this in half as well. And that is going to be a little insert that opens up. And again, I'll be, I'll probably leave that as it is, maybe do a couple of bits and bobs here on the corners because I really like this. Uh, but these little bits here can be covered up. Again, this might form some of our um, chicken pages that we have. So let's add our glassine bag. There we go. Lined pages. I think I have one more of these. I'll turn that inside out. Again, do your inking around there and stamping on that. But again, address that as we go along. And I just need to, tri to rip out something from the notebook. Yep, here it is. We're going to go for the dotties. fold that in half and then we can pop that in as well find the middle now if you are happy with this and you you can sew inside there then go ahead I am going to just keep it all loose so that I can have a play with this as I decorate and if you have any pressed flowers you can pop them in here as well and there we have our last signature. I've got an absolute ton of space here and some leftovers that I can add as we go along. So I'll be popping these all into a separate um, place to keep it all together. I'm just gonna cut that in half just so we can add some interest. So I can pop this, this will look good here. So we can just slide that in there we go and then this one here we can pop somewhere else so go through all of your embossing folders and see what would work I've literally just grabbed things from my stash here the only brand new thing really that I'm using is um, is the fabric paper here for the cover so everything else you can grab from around the house in your stash and that is our junk journal no so nice and easy and now it's ready to go so I think I might just add another pom-pom trim just 
on the outside here and then I'll be doing my uh, front cover because I want that to be nicely decorated as well so um, I could call it lockdown diaries maybe something like that and put the dates there I think that will be all right and my kids are going to absolutely love looking through this because this was a huge part of their lives that I'm about to document Every, we had so many changes from um, my eldest daughter she was in year six when we hit lockdown she had a few months left of primary school she completely missed all of her end of term leaving school everything so she next time she went back to school was a brand new school and it was in year seven so um yeah i kind of feel like i've missed out on the last day with her because the primary school was such a large part of my life as well with the um the school runs and everything so to miss that that was a bit upsetting to miss the last day but i would have been weeping and I would have been a weepy mess on the last day in their last assembly so I was spared that you know so I would have definitely have had to have taken the tissues <laughs> for that day so I'm definitely going to document that but I did think that we could see it coming basically with lockdown coming so I do remember our very last walk home together my son was off poorly um it wasn't covid or anything um he was he had something else but um it was our last walk home together alone and I do actually remember that and that is my memory of her last day at school so I'm definitely going to record that in this diary. There's just so many important memories for me to get in here so I'm really glad that I have started that and that is one of the special ones. I don't mind sharing that with you because um, it is a special one and we all have different types of special memories and things and that's for me that's a really important one to, um, to document so um yeah so if you're watching on the replay please pop any questions in in the comments um i'm really glad that you've been enjoying this one um so we do have a live on thursday it'll be at lunchtime and uh hopefully we can get vicky in to join i've challenged us to do something together so we'll both be crafting side by side but in different parts of the country on the same screen um let's fix this with washi tape so that'll be a lot of fun we're going to do some testing this week just to make sure that that's all fine let's go for this dotty one here there we go i'm just going to tear that and I'll do a different one on the other side. I've got another jar here actually of washi tape. I love washi tape. Maybe this jar's too small. I need a massive jar, but then I'd have to tip it all out to get to the ones at the bottom. Yeah, let's go for this one on the other side. Yeah, so uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So hopefully you'll be able to join us on Thursday for that one. Um, my children do finish just after lunchtime as well. So it'll be round about an hour for that, but I'm sure there'll be They'll be, they're, they're nice and quiet anyway when they come in. There we go, let's fix that. That doesn't even look like I've repaired anything. That looks like it lives there, that's really good. So, and yes, we will be coming back to this. There's a few albums now that I am working on as an ongoing series. So we have this one, and then I'm also working on this one here. This came out on the uh, Helen Griffin channel the other day was it yesterday this is an album you've seen this many times now this is an album for my sister for her cruise I said I would uh, do a photo album for her. I've got all the photos here now all of these photos are not going to fit inside here so I'm just going to stick to the key ones and then I'm going to let her have the rest so she can do whatever she wants with them and then I have some off cuts here from the Oasis adventures that are going to match her photos perfectly so that will be a lot of fun so two ongoing series there just to keep us busy and that'll be a lot of fun to do as well so part one for that one is already out how I make this hard it's a hardback cover as well so all well, that works out just fine so Barbara has the Thursdays and Mondays off so that's pretty good yeah I think it was over 250 photos uh, my mum also went on the same cruise they saved up and saved up to go um, and my mum came round, she said, can you help me sort my photos out? She didn't know how to get the um, 
the photos off her digital camera and it took us about four hours to go through over 400 photos to choose which ones were the duds, which ones were the good ones and then to choose like which ones she was going to actually get printed off. So she also has around about the same amount, about 250 photos <laughs> that she has printed off. But um, I might have those ones put into like a photo book for her but she she she's actually going to do something with those photos she loves she's she likes a scrapbook like this but without all of the images she likes to just have it just photos just a big wall of photos on every on every uh, page so yeah that's going to be a lot of fun as well so um i'm going to be going off now so it's getting a uh, quite late but I'm going to edit these two together and do them as a replay as well I think she was shocked actually with the 400 photos part of her she's like, oh my gosh I've taken that many but yeah she had a lot of fun there's a lot of stormy weather big waves and things so yeah okay so if you're on the YouTube everything is itemized and listed I will sort out all of those listed because there's now two videos but I'll sort all that out and then um on Facebook I've literally just got the link there for the fabric paper so um, yeah I hope you really like this one this is another ongoing series so I'm looking forward to the next part for this one actually this is gonna be a lot of fun so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this one and I'll see you all again soon <laughs>